What's up, Michael here with Fitter Media, and in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you how the Webflow pricing works. Now, I'm not gonna just simply go over the pricing that they have on their site. I'm gonna be doing that. However, you can look through the um, comparisons if you want to. I'm not gonna go through everything. I'm more so gonna show you some things that aren't as easy to um, understand so that you know what you're getting when you purchase certain uh, plans with the Webflow, um, on Webflow. <laughs> So here I am on the, uh, the Webflow pricing page and I'm not going to go through all the comparisons. I'm just going to quickly show you some things you need to know. So first off with the Webflow pricing, it can be a little complicated because there are two kinds of pricing structures. You have site plans and you have workspace plans. So a site plan is simply per site pricing. And then if you scroll down on their pricing page even more, you're gonna see there are workspace plans. These are basically account plans. So if, for example, here are the pricing, here's the pricing for the workspace plans, and this you're basically paying to upgrade your Webflow account as a whole. So this offers a little bit uh, different item, this offers a little bit different things compared to site plans. For example, if you have just the starter plan, which is a free Webflow account, you can only have two unhosted sites, which can be a little bit limiting if you're working on multiple sites at, at a time. And then if you go to core, if you update to core, growth, or enterprise, you get code export. This is really popular. A lot of people like this so that they can export their site and host it elsewhere. However, that is not possible with just a site plan. So code export doesn't come with site plans. You're gonna have to upgrade your account plans um, in order to uh, get code export. Now, while I'm at the workspace section, before I go back up to, to the site plan section, this pricing may look a little bit different to you if you're still on the old plan. So right now, at the time of making this video, the Webflow workspace plans is pretty new and not everyone has been rolled over to it. So for example, if I go to my account, I'm actually still on the old pricing plan, which means if I go to account and plans, you're gonna see I have, uh, let's see where it is, where is it? If we go to, here we go. Let's go back to the dashboard and go to create a team. The workspace plans used to be the team plans. And you can see right here, there are three plans, small, medium, and large. And they were always pretty expensive. 70 bucks a month was the, 70 bucks a month was the cheapest. This basically um, allowed you to create a team with a Webflow account, accounts, like different users could be in there and do different things. You can track member activity. And now the new workspace plans have over have like replaced that so if i go actually to my uh new account that i have with webflow you're going to see this is on the new plan because if i go to my workspace here i can only create a workspace i can't create a team and if i click on create workspace you basically name it and then you can select a plan and you can see it's the normal workspace plans that has taken place over the team plans. So depending on uh, how new your Webflow account is, you may be seeing one or the other. Now back to the site plans. With these site plans, I'm gonna let you go through the plan features yourself. I don't really have to go through this uh, for you. However, there is a few things I quickly wanted to show, show you. So on the basic plan, this is if you just get a basic site plan, you don't have the CMS or anything. This comes with no form file uploads, so you cannot have a, form, a field in your Webflow forms where people can upload a file, and it doesn't come with site search. So that's really quickly what I wanted to point out about the basic plan. If I quickly scroll up, let's quickly switch over to the e-commerce plans. These are pretty much, these are still site plans, and they are pretty similar. They have everything included in the other plans. There's just e-commerce functionality. The pretty much the biggest difference between these plans is um, the transaction fees. So the standard has a 2% transaction fee and the other ones have zero. And then these smaller plans, the standard and the plus, they have um, sales caps. So you have their individual sales caps here. 
and then if we view the plan features again you can go down through this yourself it's pretty self-explanatory however there are a few things that we'll show you um, each plan comes with its limit on how many items you can have so if you have a lot of different items this may be a deal breaker on which plan you need and if I go down here the standard does come with um, has branded emails so that is a little weird I feel like each plan standard all the way to advance should have unbranded emails but the standard uh, has branded emails and then again the transaction fees are different um, but other than that, you can go down through the um, comparisons and compare yourself. So I hope that was helpful in explaining the differences between the different Webflow plans and the workspace plans versus the site plans. If you have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment section below, or I am a Webflow developer and a Webflow consultant. So if you would like help with one of those things, there'll be links in the description.